Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another disc golf video. I went out and played at Winthrop Gold again for another practice round with my buddy Kyle Deck, who is one of the owners of Another Round Disc Golf. I'm sure that you guys have seen them on Instagram and whatnot. Go check out their website, their Instagram. Really, really good guys. Um, and so we just hung out and played and practiced. And then uh, in the back nine, uh, Joseph, uh, the other owner, came and showed up as well. So I'm just going to be voicing over uh, this round Uh and yeah, we get to kind of go through that process of just where I'm at with my preparation for qualifying for USCDC on the Monday qualifying. I'm excited for it. I hope that you guys are excited for it as well. Let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so hole one here, um, we are going to be throwing our Chameleon Judge. It's actually a pretty windy day. Um, you'll see it on the trees throughout the course, and then obviously for those of you who play disc golf, you know that a lot of times you don't really see the wind. You just see how it affects your disc. Um, so I throw this off of here, um, wind coming off from the right, and it just stabled up, went into the trees, but thankfully it went through them um, to end up giving me a look at the basket. So I'm over here, there's a little opening, um, I'm still kind of crouched down, stretching my, my hamstrings, but we were able to uh, seal that birdie right there, which is awesome. That's my first time getting that birdie. You can see my keystone there as well, which is in a really, really good spot. Uh, hole two, we're going to be throwing the grace here. It flips up nice, goes to the right of this tree, ends up hitting a branch and kicking left. Um, but I'm playing this hole for par. I don't play this hole for birdies. It's a little bit too dangerous for my liking, especially for qualifying. Um, so we just throw our bounty here nice and nice and straight, controlled, get it to a good spot. And for some reason, um, I don't have my upshot recorded, but I just threw uh, my yellow justice up to this point, um, about 15 feet away or so, and uh, able to seal the par on that one, which is good. If I can get a par on this, I'm going to be happy. We're, we're, we're two down through two, or one down through two, which is awesome. Um, this hole has gotten a lot more dangerous, especially with the wind that's out there uh, as it opens up. I throw my bounty, it flips it over crazy into the trees, but thankfully uh, the OB doesn't come into play in those trees. It comes into play further down towards the basket. Um, so I'm able to stand over here with my justice and just throw it down there. So again, uh, a par on this hole, I'm, I'm fine with. Uh, I'd love to get a, a birdie on this iconic hole, but I'm not, I'm not trying to go out of bounds. You know what I'm saying? I am going to be playing and as safe and as smart as I can to qualify. Um, so through three, we're one down. This hole, we're going to be throwing our grace again, uh, like we threw on hole two. But on this one, we weren't able to turn it over. Uh, it went pretty straight and stable through these trees. I would love for it to go to the right of that clump um, because it'll give us a little bit better of an approach. Right here, we're kind of cut off. So I try and throw a skip shot with the adder, and we get a little bit of an anti-skip, honestly. But either way, it wouldn't have really given us uh, much of a look for uh, a birdie. From that position, we'd have to get to the mouth uh, uh, of that and it's still probably about 30 45 feet from there um, so we're gonna leave this hole with a par as well so we're one down still through four which is awesome um, now this hole in the wind you can see the trees on the right moving and they don't even have that many leaves on them uh, so it was it was a tough one throwing my felon here goes off to the right and it cuts me off from being able to get any sort of a run-up so I have to throw another sidearm here uh, which is not ideal uh, on this hole. I would love to be able to throw a backhand from the middle of the fairway, so I have to make sure I commit to that. Um, and then now we have a little bit of a tailwind, um, and normally that's supposed to stable up your discs. So I threw a Raider, and it didn't stable it up. Uh, it actually almost made it understable, which was really weird. Uh, I wasn't expecting it. Um, I still should have thrown it on hyzer either way. Um, and from there, it put us out of position to cross the water. So I just throw a putter. I did actually end up throwing one of my diamonds across the water from here just to see if I could. And we did make it through and on to the other side, which uh, made me happy to know. But I still probably wouldn't go for that. Um, it'd be better to play for the safe bogey uh, than go into the water. So throw the adder here. I babied it just a little bit um, because, again, I was afraid of the wind. You can see everything moving in the background. You can see the water and some of those trees, and the wind just drops that down. Here I aim way above the basket, and it just slams it down. Kyle and I were like, yo, did you see that? Um, so, yeah, you can see, again, the grass in the background. You can hear it on the mic as well. It, it was just it was a windy day, but it was good to practice in. Um, so I took a double bogey on that, 
which is a little bit frustrating. Um, so we're plus one right now. On this hole, we're going to take our bounty and just play it safe. This is another one of the ones that I just need to play safe. Um, when you go out and play in tournaments like this where you kind of know what you need to win, um, you have to have a game plan. And I know that there are five or six holes that I can birdie out here um, and that I have birdie. This is not one of those. This one's a little bit risky for me. Um, so going into this one, I'm just playing it safe. He's standing where the basket's going to be. Uh, this is another one of those holes that I know I can birdie, um, and I have many times. And so I throw the keystone out here, aim to the left, let it stand up a little bit. You can see the wind there, and it settles down nicely for us. Um, so once you get a couple of these birdies, like you really have to start considering whether or not you want to go for future birdies um, because it can be dangerous, especially if there's out of bounds like there is on this course. And so right here, thankfully, that's two birdies, one double bogey. So we're back to even. Um, and that double bogey is kind of rare, honestly. So I, I'm still happy with my performance here. Um, throw the grace again. It didn't flip over. Um, I think I released it a little bit too flat. Didn't give it enough power. So it ended up on the left side. And now this shot was interesting. So I wanted to throw an understable disc to flip up to flat and push through the gap. Uh, I threw the diamond and it didn't do that. After this, I threw my stag and it went perfectly down there and uh, would have led to a par. Um, instead, I had to get this into a position for par, which is pretty dangerous because of that mandatory. Um, so this right here is for par. Uh, I, this is a very, very important, uh, important par on uh, this course. And I was not able to capitalize on it. So... We are back to plus one here. Um, two birdies, a double bogey, and a bogey uh, currently right here. Now, thank you to somebody in the comments who actually let me know that this whole hole nine is from this tee pad. Uh, it's a lot uh, harder of a birdie, in my opinion, because I don't have the distance to confidently cover all of this out of bounds. Um, so I'm kind of just playing this one for par. I take my sapphire, and it just goes straight right. That's the new one. I was like, what happened? Both of us were like, what in the world? You can see the trees kind of moving in the back. Um, but it doesn't really matter because, again, still just playing this one for par, really, um, especially since I, I've gotten two birdies up to this point. So taking my justice and just going to flick that right on up there, settle down by the basket, and save ourselves that par. So, again, like I said, one double bogey, one bogey, and two birdies. If I can avoid that double bogey, um, then I will be happy. So that's really the game plan is just to avoid the bogeys and get the birdies whenever I possibly can. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for today's uh, video. We ended up the front nine at plus one after that frustrating double bogey and single bogey. Um, I know that I can avoid those. Uh, the thing that's encouraging is, is the birdies, seeing that I can get birdies out here um, and then just playing smart otherwise, uh, throwing mid-ranges, throwing discs that I'm confident with and not going for things. It may give me 30, 40, 50 more feet uh, when I can just throw a little bit further on my approach. Um, so working on my game plan for qualifying, I know that one to two down, uh, will pretty much 100% seal uh, a placement in qualifying. And I know that I can do that. I shot two down the other day. I know that it's possible. I know that I can do it. And the day that I shot two down, I think I got six birdies. So I just really have to clean up uh, those bogeys and just figure out a game plan and stick to it and just go out and crush it. I'm excited either way. Even if I don't qualify, this has been a really, really fun process to kind of challenge myself. Hope that you guys have enjoyed it so far. Thank you for watching again. Um, the back nine is going to be up shortly. So I'll see you guys there.